Tomo News presents Exoskeletons. Iron Man may no longer be a movie fantasy. Now the U.S. Army is developing a tactical assault light operator suit designed to provide soldiers with superhuman strength and greater ballistic protection. The Iron Man armor suit can monitor a soldier's heart rate, hydration levels and core body temperature. The suit would respond to the data supplied by an onboard computer hooked up to sensors to keep a soldier in the optimum condition for battle. The body armor can transform from liquid to solid in milliseconds when a magnetic field or electrical current is applied. If a soldier is wounded, the Talos suit would monitor their health or even stop the bleeding using a wound stasis program. While an exoskeleton likely powered by hydraulics gives the wearer superhuman strength, the lightweight suit will also provide the wearer with night vision, increasing a soldier's mobility. Antennas provide capacity for communications. Like all good superheroes, however, Talos has a weakness, as it currently needs a heavy hydraulic pump or battery to help operate all the high-tech equipment. A 3D printed plastic cast dubbed the Cortex Exoskeleton is a finalist for the 2013 James Dyson Award. Widely used traditional orthopedic casts are bulky and inconvenient. X-ray scans of the breaks in the bone allow the Cortex Exoskeleton to be printed to fit exactly over the affected limb, with an extra membrane over the point of injury. The technology is waterproof, allowing wearers to wash even with the cast on. The design allows the limb to breathe, and wearers can scratch and itch even while wearing the cast. The cast is also thin and flexible enough that clothes can be worn over it. The winner of the International Student Design Award will be announced within a week. Exoskeleton to allow paralyzed person to walk at World Cup. A mind-controlled exoskeleton will allow a paralyzed person to walk at the opener of the World Cup. The exoskeleton, part of a project called Walk Again, aims to use technology to overcome paralysis. The system consists of a cap fitted with electrodes, a computer and battery, and sensing legs. Electrodes in the cap pick up brain signals and transfer them to the computer, which converts them into movement. Sensors detect when the foot touches the ground and transmits the signal to an electronic vibrator in the arm, allowing the patient to associate the sensation with walking. Eight people are currently training to demonstrate the technology at the World Cup opener between Brazil and Croatia on June the 12th. The original plan was for one of them to deliver the opening kick. Robots will clean and carry bags at Japan's Haneda Airport. Tokyo's Haneda Airport is set to get three different kinds of robots. An exoskeleton that fits over airport workers' bodies and interprets signals from their brains will help Haneda Airport staff in moving heavy merchandise. Robots that are designed to clean the facilities at the airport 24 hours a day will also be deployed. Meanwhile, robots capable of supporting 200 kilograms in weight will be used to aid passengers who are unable to carry their own luggage. Officials say the use of robots will help reduce costs and the program may possibly be expanded to other airports. The concept of using robots at the airport comes ahead of an expected large influx of visitors to the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, with officials also hoping the program will bring worldwide attention to Japan's innovative technology. Honda is ready to release its robotic walking assistant in November. Automobile manufacturer Honda has developed a robotic walking assistant device to help rehabilitate patients learning to walk again. The device can also aid the elderly and those with walking disabilities. When the device is attached around a person's pelvis and thighs, a sensor measures the walking patterns of each user and submits data displayed visually on a tablet. The robotic walking assistant device weighs around 2.7 kilograms and has a battery life that lasts about 60 minutes. In November 2015, the robotic walking assistant device will be available to medical institutions in Japan. The device is expected to improve users' motor skills and increase the distance they can walk. The technology was created as part of the research and development of ASMO, Honda's advanced humanoid robot. This supersuit can help your grandmother get around more easily. 
A California-based startup has designed a powered suit that can provide extra muscle strength for elderly people and increase their mobility. The Aura Powered Suit is a smart suit designed to be worn in direct contact with the body. The hexagonal pods placed around muscle groups contain batteries, control boards, and elastic muscle technology. The technology contains a smart material that behaves like human muscle, which expands when exposed to an electric current and contracts when the current is removed. The suit is configured to be aligned with the body's natural muscular movements and provides extra power by the mechanical motion of the smart material. It can provide support for the user when sitting down and add muscle power when getting up. Although currently designed for the elderly, the technology was originally developed as part of a program to reduce injuries in soldiers carrying heavy loads. Check out some other cool wearable tech. Human trials on bionic spine to start next year. There may be new hope for people with spinal cord injuries thanks to a device that is being hailed as the holy grail in bionics. Australian scientists are developing a bionic spine that could allow paralyzed patients to move using the power of thought. The device, a stent electrode recording array, or stentrode, is the size of a small paperclip. Once inserted into the jugular vein using a catheter, it is pushed up to a blood vessel in the brain, where it then expands. Electrodes on the stent record electrical activity from the motor cortex, which controls movement and translates it into commands. The commands are sent to a transmitter embedded just below the chest, which then sends them wirelessly to an exoskeleton or a wheelchair, allowing the patient to move. Scientists tested the stent on a sheep for 190 days and are set to do human trials on three paraplegic patients next year. The project was three years in the making and was partially funded by Australia's National Health and Medical Research Council, as well as by the U.S. Army. Researchers for NASA are working on a robotic exoskeleton for astronauts to assist or inhibit movements in leg joints. The X1 robotic exoskeleton is worn over the legs with a harness that reaches up the back and around the shoulders. The X1 has an inhibit mode that puts additional pressure on an astronaut's muscles. This would help maintain health in zero gravity situations and help the astronaut walk in low gravity situations. The X1 also has a power assist mode that can boost an astronaut's strength. The device could also help assist paraplegics walking on Earth. X1 is currently in a research and development phase. NASA says the X1 is more comfortable, easier to adjust and easier to put on than previous exoskeleton devices. A mind-controlled exoskeleton might allow a paralyzed teenager to kick off the World Cup in Brazil in June 2014. The exoskeleton, part of a project called Walk Again, aims to use technology to overcome paralysis. The exoskeleton supports a paralyzed person's lower body and responds to wireless commands that come from electrodes placed on the person's scalp or within the brain. A computer worn as a backpack then converts the commands into movement. If all goes according to plan, that would allow a paralyzed teenager to walk onto the field at the World Cup and give the first ceremonial kick. To make the process more natural, the team working on the project is thinking about incorporating more sensors into the suit to monitor touch, temperature and force. A high-tech exoskeleton designed specially for firefighters measures 1.6 meters tall, weighs 23 kilograms, and can carry up to 91 kilograms. The exoskeleton fits directly over a firefighter's outer wear and can be fitted with different tools and gadgets, such as a fire hose that would clip to the arm. A lithium battery in the exoskeleton gives it two hours of operating time, while the sensor units located throughout the device are connected to a built-in computer. The exoskeleton is also fitted with an oxygen bottle and a flashlight. The device is load-carrying, so the weight of anything it is carrying is transferred directly to the ground, meaning the firefighter doesn't bear the weight. Victims in high-rise buildings are often above the level that aerial devices can reach. The exoskeleton would boost a firefighter's strength, allowing them to easily climb tall buildings.